Christian, so I'm sorry for you at home because you have to maybe run around your table now. I'm sorry for that. We cheat here a little bit, of course, because we have turning table. Also we have here einen drehbaren Teller. Somit geht es natürlich um einiges einfacher hier. So we just take some more flour that the rolling pin will not stick to it. And as you can see, um, important here is to roll the dough just from the center outwards and not too big about this size. Also drücken. So we only use the back of our hands and we cover it a little bit with flour here that the dough will not stick to it. And then I can take the dough here from the middle outwards. I start to stretch. Also ich begin hier alles mit. So as you can see, we get a really thick and nice thin dough. Also wir bekommen hier einen schönen, dünnen, uh, großen Teig. So it's big enough. So we can give it back to our cloth here. I will do brauchen. Now you can see why we need this important cloth here. Weil wir jetzt den Strudel von einem Ende zum anderen rollen. So we just roll the strudel from one end to the other here. Und jetzt nehmen wir hier noch ein bisschen geschmolzene Butter, um hier unseren Strudel auch schön zu schließen. So we take some melted butter here to close our strudel here to your soup if you like. And then we just take the uh, cloth here and we form a little bag. So I can go and walk around with my strudel. Also ich kann hier dann schön mit meinem Strudel spazieren gehen quasi und ihn hier schön auf meinem Backblech hier befördern, ohne dass ihm natürlich irgendwas hier passiert. Uh, so we just need to foam it a little bit that we get a nice strudel after baking it. And of course we have nice pieces after baking it, so the same pieces uh, we want to have pieces the same size here. Also wir wollen natürlich auch schöne gleichmäßige Stücke, somit formen wir hier den Strudel schön, uh, damit er dann natürlich auch schön ausschaut nach dem Backen. So we want that it's looking nice after baking it. Und jetzt braucht man noch einmal die letzte Zutat. So we need the final ingredients, the melted butter here, also die geschmolzene Butter, brauchen wir hier nochmals Träger. So we use the melted butter here because it's getting a nice shine brown color while it bakes. And of course it tastes even better if it's all full with butter here. So just use melted butter and no eggs or milk for brushing a strudel because eggs and milk will get burned while baking it. Also keine